There is a lot of controversy when it comes to dietary fat intake. But the reality is, fat isn't just fat. Because not all fats are created equal. Now in this video, I will go through the good fats, the great fats, the bad fats, and the downright killers. Let's get started. Now let's start with the good ones, monosaturated fats. You might wonder what foods contain monosaturated fats. Good examples are almonds as well as avocados. They are a great addition to a healthy balanced diet. Great ones are omega free rich foods such as walnuts and flax seeds. They contain ALA which your body can synthesize into DHA and EPA and they are essential for brain health. So make sure you're consuming a good source of omega 3s in most states if not every day. Now let's talk about some bad fats. Bad fats are saturated fats, which are most commonly found in dairy and meat products, but also in oils that get solid when they are at room temperature, such as coconut oil. Why are saturated fats so bad for you? Because they can raise your cholesterol levels, and especially your bad cholesterol levels, LDL. Saturated fats are non-essential, so you technically don't need them. If you want to consume them, make sure to consume as little as possible and really enjoy them in moderation because they can be harmful long term on your body because high levels of cholesterol can lead to heart disease and other illnesses. Now let's talk about the absolute killer fats, which are trans fats. They are only found in hydrogenated oils as well as in some dairy and meat products. Usually they're only found in animal products. However, the food industry found a way to create these fats synthetically by hardening vegetable oils in a hydrogenation process. Why is the food industry doing this? Well, it's good for shelf life, but arguably not very good for human life. So if you're consuming especially processed foods, make sure that the content of hydrogenated oils is very low or non-existent. Now if you learned something new in this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know a little bit more about healthy omega-3 sources in a plant-based diet, check out this video that I posted recently where I go through the top three sources as well as some other interesting facts about omega-3s. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!